Hope and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's kind of echoey in here probably because I have no furniture, but <sighs> I feel like I have so much to say and I don't even know where to start. I guess first things first, um, I'm in a new house. I'm in a new apartment in Arizona. Um, all of my family lives here. I'm from Arizona. I've been living in LA for the past two years, but we are now living here. We got a new apartment. We left LA for a lot of different reasons, but we always knew we would probably end up moving back home eventually. We just didn't know when. We knew that after we got married, when we wanted to start having kids and stuff, we would probably want to be closer to home. And being in Arizona, it's easier to buy a house here. All of our family lives here. So we always knew, or we always figured we'd probably come back eventually. But with everything that's kind of been happening, this process kind of got sped up. Obviously the cost of living is a lot cheaper here. What we're paying here is way less than what we are paying there. And I think we were kind of just over LA. I think we were just ready to kind of move back home and settle down a little bit more. So he is supposed to start work in the middle of March, like around March 15th. And I was gonna stay in LA because our lease didn't end until April. So he was gonna come back here and stay at his parents' house and work and start work. And I was just gonna stay in LA until our lease was up so I could just work as much as I could while I was there. So I was planning on coming back and we were gonna get a place in April, but and the virus kind of started to get a little scary. I honestly, I was one of those people that was like, oh, like this is being blown way out of proportion. It's not that big of a deal. I did not think it was a big deal at all. I was like, I went to San Francisco for the weekend. And then when I came back, things got really serious. Work was getting canceled for a lot of people. Things were shutting down and I was like, okay, this is getting a little more serious. Then I found out that my work was shutting down, Orange Theories were shutting down, all gyms were shutting down, all restaurants were shutting down, and I was like, okay, this is serious, and I, if I'm not gonna work, there was no point of me staying there and like self-quarantining in my apartment by myself. So I was like, I'm just gonna come with you. Like I have no work, I'm out of work, I'm unemployed, so I might as well come back with you. So we literally packed everything up the next day and moved everything here. And we stayed at my mom's house for the rest of the week. And then we just got this apartment two days ago and moved everything in, in a matter of a day. So now we're here, he's still in work. So he's staying and working and I'm just here now. So officially I live in Scottsdale. I have this, this little apartment. Malibu, please stop. So yeah, I am just, we're here now, we're living. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for work. It's honestly scary. When I found out that Orange Theory was shutting down and we were coming back to Arizona like three weeks sooner than I was planning on, I had no time to pack anything in my house. We just hurried up because I knew LA was gonna be going into like a shutdown. So I wanted to kind of just get out as soon as I could, get home, be closer to my family so that I wasn't alone. And now we're here. Honestly, I, it's been a really hard, weird, stressful time. A few days I was really kind of just depressed and like didn't feel like doing anything and I was just having anxiety about everything. I didn't know what I was gonna do for work. I didn't know how we were gonna be able to get an apartment with me not having a job and, but we'll get through it, we'll figure it out. I'm happy to be in a, like a new, nice, clean apartment so I can start filming videos more consistently. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do for work, but we'll figure it out once things start opening back up. For now, I'm self-isolating at home with Malibu and we're just chilling here. So I did film a little bit of stuff. I didn't film the whole moving process just because it was kind of chaotic and hectic and we just were in a rush and we honestly don't have a lot of stuff. We left so much of our stuff at our apartment in LA because we didn't have room for it. We just had a small little U-Haul and our bed barely fit in it. So we've just packed up whatever we could and just drove to Arizona. Sorry, my camera just died. So I don't even know what I was saying because I'm ADD and I already forgot. But yeah, so now I'm officially back in Arizona. My couch is supposed to come in tonight, which I'm excited for, so hopefully that comes in. So I did film a little bit yesterday of me like going to Whole Foods, getting all my groceries and stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and carry on with the rest of the vlog. I'm gonna show you guys the groceries that I got last night and then from there just pick up 
for the rest of the day. So yeah. Also follow me on Instagram because um, I'm posting workouts on there and just keeping guys up to date over there as well. Let's get on with the rest of the video. So yeah, I just got back from Whole Foods. Excuse this ugly mess. I literally look homeless. And it's probably because I was homeless for a while. We literally just moved into our apartment today. And we had to make a quick Whole Foods run. And it was basically like, it looked like it was raided. Like there was hardly anything in there. So we got what we could. We stocked up on a lot of things. Spent probably too much money. We spent 170 which for Whole Foods, it's pretty average. Times are uh, weird right now, so I'm trying to just still eat as healthy as possible, and so I'll show you all the groceries that I got. I do not even want to hear it from the plastic police. Like, don't eat, give me a break for this video because I got what I could at the grocery store, okay? Times are tough, and normally I'm very aware of my plastic use, but I did bring my own bag, so. Here is everything that I got. So in here I have some carrots just to snack on and also for Malibu, because she loves carrots. Some strawberries, cut sweet potato, some spinach, Brussels sprouts, a red and yellow bell pepper, cucumber, two boxes of white jasmine rice. I'm surprised I had any of this left, so I stocked up on whatever I could of that. Um, two lemons, this is just some Mexican, ve vegetarian Mexican rice. Some frozen fruit, there was hardly any frozen fruit left, so I got just a berry blend and extra blueberries, some bananas. Coconut water for smoothies, um, some oatmeal, this cocoa yo coconut yogurt. In here I have a big bunch of romaine lettuce, some asparagus, we've got hummus and hot salsa. Some red potatoes here, some avocados, some lemonade, barbecue sauce, some black beans. They had no canned black beans, so I got this one. We're just gonna make a little Mexican dinner tonight, so I got that. Some frozen stuff. These are beefless burgers, just to um, have for protein. Then we have some tortilla chips. And then I got these three juices I've got. Uh, like a green juice, an apple ginger juice, and then this um, like fruit juice. Some blueberries, they had no more peanut butter, so I just bought some of these um, packets of peanut butter. And then I got Ryan some ground beef for him. And then we also got some sushi rolls. This is the sushi roll. I got a, just a veggie sushi roll. And then he got this one that fell out in the car. So I have these reusable Ziploc baggies that I like to put stuff in. So I normally take like, if the bananas are getting like too ripe, I will kind of put them into pieces into these little baggies and then I'll just put this in the freezer. And then hopefully we'll eat these too tomorrow or something. <sighs> We're done. I love this fridge. If you guys saw my last apartment, you know how small my fridge was. So this is a big step up here. And then this is just my fresh bowl of fruit where I have bananas, avocados, oranges, and a mango. This is ready. I think I need to make chop that up. Okay, so I didn't film the whole moving process just because it was just a lot going on and everything happened so fast so um, We pretty much got all of our stuff in we left a lot of furniture in California, so when we came here we just kind of took the bare minimum and So we're still waiting on a lot of furniture like we don't have a couch. We don't have a dining room table or anything like that so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little tour of what's going on so far. So here's the front door. So when you walk in, we've got a little welcome mat. But then when you walk in here, to the right, this door here is our laundry room. So we have our own 
private laundry, which I'm so excited about because we used to have to go take our laundry somewhere else to get done. And then we have this like rack right here and then we have like all of Malibu's stuff right now. Everything's kind of a mess still. Need to find spots for everything. Here is the living room. We're waiting on our couch to come in. It's gonna go right here. And then we ordered a coffee table and a new TV stand. This one's old. We're just kind of using it for now until our new one comes in. And then my mom's taking that. So we still just have like our plants and like random stuff that we have, our lamp. And then this area is gonna be our dining room. So we're gonna get like a little circle dining room table. That shelf, I'm not, it's not staying there. I don't know where it's gonna go. I'm just kind of waiting for everything to come in. And then out here we have our own little back patio. Over here is the kitchen. This is just our dining room chairs. They're not, they don't fit this, but we're just having to make it work right now because we don't have a table, but we're, we're gonna get little bar stools for this. And then up here is the island. And then over here is the main kitchen area, right? This is the pantry here. So we have all these drawers, which is nice and cabinets. And we just have all of our like plates and bowls and everything up here. We've got a microwave, a stove. We did leave our toaster because it was just kind of gross and stopped working. So we need to get a new toaster. This is the main living area here. My favorite thing about this is all the natural light. Like we have no lights on in here and we have really big windows, which I love. And then in here is the bathroom. Definitely a step up. I don't know if I even showed my bathroom ever in a vlog before. So here's the bathroom. Oh, oh there's two lights. So yeah, here is the bathroom. We have all of these cabinets, toilet, and then shower. Don't. I don't know what happened, but our shower curtain is like too short, so we have to get a longer shower curtain, but this will work for now, but yeah, definitely a step up from our apartment in LA. And then we have just these little cabinets that don't really have anything in them right now, and I've just got like stuff that I need to organize. And here's our bedroom. There's Ryan and Mel. Hi, babies. You don't like the fan? She's looking at it. Oh, mm, booby. So she's laying on. Oh, you love your she's dad. Dad. Scared. You're scared of. She's scared of the fan. We've never had a ceiling fan before. She's a little unsure of it. But yeah, this is the bedroom. So you walk in. We've got our bed. Um, and then I love this like little nook. I really like that we're in a corner unit because we get two windows. I'm thinking this will be like my little filming corner just because there's such good light. So we'll see. Figure all that out. But yeah, and then this is our closet. It's kind of a mess, so, but yeah. So yeah, we have wood floors in the whole apartment except for the bedroom has carpet, but I love these floors. But yeah, this is it, I'm so excited. There's definitely still a lot of work that needs to be done. Like I said, we're waiting on a lot of our furniture, like our couch, our rug, coffee table dining room table we literally just moved in yesterday and we have no cable or internet so that's been fun but it's been nice to just kind of disconnect a little bit and not like watch a ton of tv we're just like cleaning getting stuff done Okay, so here is what I just made. I have this big bowl of fruit. I cut up mango, blueberries, strawberries, and apples. And then I got this little nut butter yesterday um, from Whole Foods that I'll just kind of have on the side. And then here's my vitamins I'm taking, this probiotic, and then my ritual um, essentials for women. I take two of these, one of these, or two of these, two of these, and then I have my water right here. So this is what I'm gonna eat right now. Sometimes when you're
sushi roll from Whole Foods, so I'm gonna eat this. It's just like a vegetarian roll. It's just avocado and carrots, and that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. Good night. Take a night. Bye, guys.